Thanks, Brian. All right, so in the meantime, look at the markets. The Dow's up 665. We're shrugging off the hot CPI date, at least for today. We had a bigger than 1,200-point swing for the Dow today. But is this the all-clear for you? Probably not, says your next guest. He sees more volatility ahead. He's going to fade this rally. He is David Wagner, equity analyst and portfolio manager at Aptus Capital Advisors. Why fade it? Yeah, you know, Brian, I don't think that the market can make new highs until you have some type of moderation inflation. And more importantly, a large earnings expectation decrease. So far for next year, earnings have only come down by, say, 5%. And historically, when you look at the median downturn and recession, earnings come down, say, 20%. So I think that the markets will be very stubborn on allowing a new market regime until earnings fall. Thus, I would fade any material rally into year end. But, you know, Brian, it continues to amaze me that people continue to keep calling for some type of Fed pivot. I guess I have to understand it a little bit, you know, because the Fed is always assumed to be the backstop thing. 2018, think COVID. But, you know, let's look forward. You know, inflation is still going to continue to be high. We know that, you know, investors know that growth is going to be slowing. And they should probably know that QT is one of the biggest major monetary policy shifts of their lifetime. So you asked this question last time, what can you do here? Is cash king? So, you know, how do you capitalize in this type of environment? And what I would say is that the Wu-Tang Clan investment methodology, obviously made famous by Ben Graham, well, it's wrong. Cash does not and cash will not rule everything around me, you know, given that, you know, inflation remains stubbornly high, especially what we saw this morning. So where can you potentially find safety if it's not cash? Well, I think investors need to own volatility as an asset class. So regarding an asset allocation, I think investors need to look at colored income strategy as one of the best ways to attack, you know, this muted type of environment moving forward. I think the best way to find it is if you have the ability to write calls on individual securities. Obviously, you'll get higher implied volatility levels there relative to the market or some type of benchmark. And that raises your ceiling by using individual uh, uh, calls, Mm. raises your ceiling up higher because, you know, you can then participate more in market rallies, which you definitely saw back in June. But, you know, at its core, uh, I think we're going to continue to see some type of chop in this market. So you might have coined a new phrase, the Wu-Tang market. I'll, I'll bring it back to you because the market has brought the ruckus. I mean, this is certainly a ruckus in these markets here. Uh, when do you see this volatility ending? Because if you're not yeah, a believer in the – everyone's like, oh, we've got to wait till the Fed pivots for the volatility. If you see the Fed pivot not coming or not for a long time, are we going to be like this for the next few months or quarters? Yeah, I, I think we're definitely in a muted return environment moving forward. I think the market is very simplistic in nature. I think on a daily basis, kind of like today, at least at the beginning of the day, the market was focusing on CPI. Go back to the beginning part of this quarter. The market's focused on, on PMIs. It's focused on the jolt number. But I would say all of this rally until you really see a lot of degradation in the earnings profile for fiscal year 2023 of the S&P 500 to really start coming down. I think it's going to be more of a process of like watching paint dry instead of having the rug pulled out from underneath it. Yeah. As we saw this morning, inflation, well, it's continuing to prop up revenues and margins right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.